hello guys welcome back to beta auto vlog today we'll be unboxing reviewing and fitting a twin 9 inches a DVD portable players which are designed to be used in the cars while driving so I've got the box here on the table you can just turn it over there we go Put the one screen on the very top, which is just here, as you can see. A few simple buttons on the very front of the DVD player. It's nice and easy to use. On the box, as it's written here, as you can see, we've got one already fitted in the car. I'll just show you how it looks like. It's really nice, I would say. I would say that's actually the best design ever. Very quick and easy to install in the car without any straps or the Velcro going over here, over the uh, uh, headrests, which could be annoying in a way when you would be going on a long journey. So obviously, if it's nothing next to your head, it's better. And this is, as you can see, it's really convenient. So let's just unbox it. Mm -hmm. And as I say again, you don't have to spend fortune on them because, as you can see here on the side, uh, it's not the greatest resolution, but for children, I think it's great. The main thing is I've actually you've got a, a battery built in and you've got the speakers built in. So if you don't, if you're not fancy wearing a head, a headset, earphones, or anything like that, you can actually use the speakers as well. And then you've got the two remote controls. And advantage, big advantage as well. You've got the two uh, chargers included in the box. There we go, unpacking. And we've got two DVD screens here, two remote controls, two earphones actually. You've got as well with it one main adapter, mains, so you can actually plug it in in the house and you can watch it or in caravan or anywhere. Uh, car power adapter so obviously that's it your 12 volts car charger which is just here a normal standard one but obviously as you can see at the very end you've got two connectors to attach to two screens and those screens as a, just a reminder they've got a battery built in which can last up to three hours and if it's uh, charging the LED light I'll just put it on for a minute which is just here, it's uh, red because it's on and on the other side here somewhere as you can see the battery I don't know if you'll be able to focus the camera it's not plugged in now, so anyway if, if it would be charging it would be red if it would be charged up it would be green okay so the next we've got uh, cables, what cables we've got, we've got cables to connect audio and video and the power cable if you wanted to connect two DVD players together and let's just say kids want to watch exactly the same film and you've got just one disc. So those cables are actually here attached, included, I mean, sorry. That's that's the one cable for uh, audio and video, which is in the box included. There's another cable which is for uh, a power if you wanted to use it in the house. Or a caravan on holiday actually so we can connect two screens together and the manual instruction will tell you everything how to connect it easily then we've got remote controllers which is as you can see on them loads of buttons so probably they're not as easy to use for little children but very easy to sort of get to know very main basic things Put them away as it says here as well you've got a two packs of earphones they're not very great but better than nothing so you've got some like emergency ones in case something gonna get broken well, let me get the other screen out yeah and as the bottom says car mounting kit notice you've got the instruction manual as i'm just looking at now so that's the screen those are the buttons yeah, on the top, as I was saying, there you've got the SD card port. Then you have to slide it in here, where is it? There, to open it and see what the disc is there inside. 
and it's very easy to put the disc in and out. On this side is no such buttons, but on the other hand, on this left hand side, we've got loads of the, uh, loads of ports on and off switch. You've got uh, the earphone, audio and video out. You've got audio and video in signal. You've got the USB port. Then you've got uh, power out and power in. So those are all here on the side. So those are screens and a content in the box. Okay, which you can actually just use your one hand. That's it, probably you can see it now. Just squeeze it there, and you can take it all out. I'll try to do it now. That's it, look. So easy comes off. So let's just say you're on holiday, you're parked in a place where you don't know really where you are, if it's safe or not. You can take it all out, just put it underneath the seat or something, and that's what actually stays in the car. The little tiny plastic, which nobody would be able to actually recognize if there, there is and there is in the car a DVD player. Right, so let's try to get the other one fixed in this side. screws Phillips screws and you just basically what you have to need Phillips screwdriver and that's it really nothing else I don't know how many seconds it took me but just a few and I tighten all those four screws and looks quite nice and firm lovely so what next that part comes next let me just bring it here so you can see it it's actually quite handy as well because as I was saying you can press those two buttons on the side and those two plastic attachments moves in or out so that allows to the whole DVD screen to come out uh, and it's very rigid it's very good plastic really I think because obviously that's gonna be dealing with children so I think that's gonna last quite a bit and here on the side there's another uh, lever Let's just turn it over. Let me see. Let me see that. If I'll just release that a little bit, as you can see, you can change the angle of a DVD player as well afterwards. Look. There. Right, so let me just push that in. place now am I? Yeah, that's it. So that's lovely and very solid as you can see I'm trying to pull it out but I can't. That's very loose that screw here on the right so you can bring it down or up so obviously that's everything to do with the angle of a DVD player and the visibility to the child. So now it's loose, it looks like that. And again the DVD, that can stay here as well if you wanted to because the DVD actually the player is actually secured with that little screw head screw here at the very end. There, you see? And at the very back of a DVD player there is a, a place where you can actually screw it together and hold it in place like what is it? Like so here. So very something very similar uh, to a tally where if you wanted to actually have it put it on the wall. There was a specification there, let me just show it to everyone as well. Lovely. Okay, let me just put that in place.
There you go. I see it's fallen down now because that screw at the very right side is very loose. And as I was saying, that screw just attached to the screen and it's a really easy and simple installation. There you go, so it looks like that. Well, thanks for watching guys. That's installation, unpacking and quick review really as well of those, let me bring the box closer now, of 9 inches dual portable DVD player. So well, that's, that's all for today, thank you very much guys for watching and stay tuned for the next uh, Peter Outer vlog. Bye now!